Hi you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. Today we're gonna take you through Pinnacles National Park. Pinnacles National Park this morning. We just did the Moses Spring Trail up to the reservoir here. Super cool trail. Really cool trail. This one in particular is about 0.9 miles to get to the reservoir. This is our first time here. So we're getting our shot set up right now. We're gonna shoot the beautiful Pinnacles with the reflection on the water, hopefully. First impressions are this is a more green Joshua tree. Yeah, and a smaller Joshua tree. <laughs> yeah, this this national park is really small. It has two entrances, one from the west and one from the east. The one from the west entrance is more old pinnacles is what it looks like so far. And then the east entrance is where most of the activities that we're gonna do today are. On the itinerary, we have two hikes and that's about it. Yeah, so <laughs> from what we've read in our research, you could really only spend one to two days here to get like the full experience, obviously, unless you're rock climbing. There's tons of rock climbing routes, as Stephen said, so. And it's also actually the newest one in California, so mm -hmm. this one's fairly recently established as a national park only during Obama's administration. So, yeah, it should be fun to explore, and we're gonna head back down to the car. We'll show you a little bit of the hike since we hiked up here in the dark. to the visitor center right now just to go pick up our sticker and get some advice on some other things to do. Parking is terrible so we're walking to the visitor center instead of driving because we asked some people that parked further down already and they said the lot's already full. So yeah, just be prepared. Parking lots are super tiny and they fill up really fast so make sure to get here early. got really busy it's insane like this morning we saw two people on our trail we came back and as we've, we're taking the several trails to the visitor center there's like we've easily seen over 200 over, people easily. i wouldn't say 200 at least 100 people though but all get the parking here lots are early full. they're turning away people because they don't have enough parking so and it is 10 o'clock so we were in there at 6 a.m for sunrise we got the spot the first we were the first people in the park yeah so it was, it was perfect because we got the best parking spot so if you guys do come highly highly recommend making sure you guys get here early and bring a mask all the trails are pretty small they're so not there's very not, wide yeah there's not a lot of room to social distance and it is actually required by the park so we just got our stickers and patches and patches we're starting a new tradition we're headed back on the bench trail we basically just hiked half the park at least right now they don't have the shuttle going on that's why we're having to walk this all the way back and forth but our goal is going to be hiking the high trail high peak trail we're going to go on a little adventure a little cloudy it's supposed to clear up later so we're hopeful all right so we're gonna go connect to the high peaks trail up to the high peaks overlook and then come back during or down the Condor Gulch Trail. We just finished having lunch, so had a nice little hour break, off we go.
right, you guys, we are out here shooting sunset on the High Peaks Trail. Lots of California condors They're out. Everywhere. So Steven's got the 100-400 on. I've got the ADD. And we're trying to get some good shots and videos of them. He got some really good ones that flew up not too close to us, but we have the huge lens. So, yeah, we're just kind of going down the trail and trying to capture some beauty. I feel like I should also mention that if you are planning on doing the High Peaks Trail for sunset, that you want to do it on the um, High Peaks Trail side if you're doing a loop instead of um, the steep and narrow section, which is what we're currently on, because this is definitely more of a sunrise side. So just be aware if you're doing the Condor Gulch Loop, that's definitely gonna be better for sunrise if you are looking for that um, golden glow while you are out hiking. Back to the car. And we, that's where exactly. my brain is at right now. We hiked almost 19 miles and it was a great day. So we started off as you saw sunrise this morning. We were up at about 5 a.m. We camped at Laguna Mountain, which is a close by BLM land. Sunrise, there's two spots that we would recommend, I think, right off the bat. One would obviously be where we went over at the, the, reservoir. the reservoir. The second one would be the lookout. If you go up Condor Gulch, about one mile up is a viewpoint. So I think that would be another beautiful spot just of the because of the way the sun rise, rises up. If you're a photographer, it perfectly hits the high peaks that you can, that we hiked up to. And then the two hikes that we did, I would highly recommend. The My favorite one was the High Peaks Trail. That one was really yeah. epic. And I mean, it connected. So it was the High Peaks Trail all the way around to the Condor Gulch Trail. And then we spent quite a bit of time just moseying around since Pinnacles isn't very big. I mean, that's almost a six mile trail in itself. So you mm. can choose whichever way you want to do it. We liked the way we did it where we started from Bear Gulch and then took the High Peaks Trail up and around because there is this one little section called the Steep and Narrow section. It was so cool. And that was probably the coolest part of the hike where you're overlooking like on one side the Rolling Mountains and then on the other side all the Pinnacles. And that's actually because of... Um, Pinnacles National Park lies on a fault line so you have like all this volcanic rock on one side and then you have all this other sedimentary rock on the other so it's a really unique spot but you get a really great view of it on that however if you'd like if you don't like heights probably <laughs> there's a railing though there's a railing so we, and there's helpful. like built-in steps which you could see in the video that we took um, in the rock so we felt very safe and I was doing it with one hand because I was holding a camera same thing with Steven so would definitely recommend probably the most fun part of that hike but if you don't like heights and you're like really bad <laughs> with heights probably skip that part and just do mm. the high peaks trail up and down so you don't go around to that area to the steep and narrow section and then the other hike that we heard that was pretty nice is the blue ridge trail we actually asked one of the park rangers and she said one of her favorite loops to do during the spring is the blue ridge trail and then coming out the condor trail and then going back to and yeah, for that one, you'd park in the Manzanita parking lot. We just didn't want to move our car since it was everything packed. was already mm. packed. And yeah, so some, something about Pinnacles too is you can, there's no road that like connects both entrance sides. So you have to drive around mm. if you want to get to the alternate entrance side. So everything is really interconnected here. That's the biggest mm. thing. Like if you get on a trail and you accidentally get on the wrong one, you're you, likely yeah. to find it. You can get back to it. the same one. Yeah. yeah, if you're a big hiker, definitely try and do the High Peaks Trail. If you just want to see some cool stuff and go on a fun hike, I thought a fun, really easy hike was the one that we did this morning. The reservoir one, The yeah. reservoir on the Moses, Moses Creek Trail. Moses Spring Trail. We're on the road to ranking every national park in California. And right now, 
for the, for us, this sits right around the same as Joshua Tree. I was calling it earlier the Green Joshua Tree. <laughs> and now he's calling it the Mountainous Joshua Tree. <laughs> yes, just because in Joshua Tree it has a lot of similar rock structures, but it's all flat. It also oh. reminded me of Sedona quite a bit, mm. like the Pinnacles by Cathedral Rock. So. If you like Sedona, you'll probably like checking this mm. park out. You really only need a weekend to totally. check out this park. We did 19 miles in a day because we're psychos, <laughs> but um, I probably could have spaced it out if we had a camp spot here. Mm -hmm. The camp spots were really nice. They have group camp spots as well as RV hookups as well as tent, tent camping. Sites. So yeah. they have all the availabilities. We almost compared it to like a state park but there were a couple features I think that I could see why they put it especially because of all the condors yeah. spend some time during sunrise and sunset being in a good area like for instance the high peak trail and just watching the condors we had about an hour and a half before sunrise that we just got to kick it and relax <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> but all in all, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out Pinnacles mm -hmm. National Park, especially if you're in Northern California and um, like San Francisco, San Jose, that seems to be where a lot of people are coming from. Mm -hmm. Or if you're from like SoCal, it's really not that bad of a drive up here. If yeah. there was one season to come, recommend coming in the spring. That's what we, the ranger said. That's what the ranger said. I would say like Feb late February, March, April, maybe into May. If you come during the winter, like when we were here, you cannot go into the caves. They close it because of Which all is such the a yeah, because of all the bats hibernating. And but, COVID, but mm -hmm. you know. So recommend definitely coming in the spring and spending at least one or two days. It's an hour and a half drive from San Jose, from right outside LA. It was about a four hour drive. So a little bit longer, but still not a bad weekend at all. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. And it lets us know you guys want to see more national park itineraries. We'll see you guys in the next adventure.